Can I call on Councillor John Redmond, Cabra Fingless Electoral Area, Dublin City Council, to address conference. Thank you, Chair, and good morning to everybody. My name is John Redmond, and I've served the people of Fingless as a local councillor for five years. I'm running for the election in the newly expanded Fingless Cabra Ward in May. I'm married to Marion 41 years, two sons and five grandchildren, who all live in the Fingless area. As a retired postman, I've never stopped working and being passionate about my community. This is why I got involved, first in my own area of Fingless South. I was determined to change the image of Fingless and help improve the area for my neighbours and friends. I helped establish the Fingless South Combined Residence and the Scribblestown and Lakeland Residence Associations. By encouraging residents to take ownership of their area, I first arranged local cleanups, painting of walls, and I played a part in the opening of a community garden for Clunlara, Fairlawn and Prospect Hill. I brought my 40 years of experience from being an activist and a volunteer in the community to work. In the area of housing, I championed a pilot scheme called Choice Based Letting. This is where long term vacant houses in the area are advertised by the council to people waiting on the housing list. This took otherwise empty houses in the area and made them available to the people of Finglas on the housing list. A former League of Ireland player, I worked with the FAI and the Community Guardie to establish the late night football in Rivermount. For teenagers. This diverts local young people away from antisocial behaviour. As a member of the Drugs Task Force, I source funding for a coordinator for the Fingless Safety Forum. And as a long standing member of the Fingless Suicide Network, the major issues and challenges facing the community were the high rate of suicide in Fingless, poor primary health care. We needed additional funding to expand the counselling services in suicide prevention and bereavement. Labour in government absolutely delivered on the funding for the suicide network, to which the people of Fingus are grateful. And now in 2014, a new multi-million euro primary healthcare centre is now planned for Fingus. Both myself and Deputy John Lyons have worked tirelessly to make this project a reality and are glad Labour and Government are delivering this much needed service for the people of Inglis. As a full-time councillor, I will continue to work with my Labour colleagues to make it a safer and vibrant community. My promise is to make Inglis a place to call and we can all be proud of. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Edmund. Our next speaker is Rachel Bryan.